introduce you to uh, our guest tonight because uh, I just want to get to, first of all, her, her story is nothing short of amazing. I'm going to call it the $80,000 uh, $80, raise story that uh, in, uh, I believe it was in 2015, Amy's income was hanging out at 20000 She starts working at LaBella Salon Beauty and Lounge. Give it up for LaBella. Those guys are the bomb, Randy Kunkel. You're here, we're here, let's here, let's go. And um, that next year she goes to 75,000. I think that's a record. I've never seen someone go from 20 to 75. I'm going to let, you t let her tell you the story. And she's trending to crack 100 grand in her second full year at, uh, at La Bella. So what else do I want to tell you about her? Um, she's 33 years old. She's a level four. Her average ticket's running at about 105, which tells you she's a Bali Lama. When you get on her social media pages, uh, uh, Shannon, you'll find out. Mary Cole, hey, Michael, you're a nut. My wife's upstairs in the bedroom watching the live show. Mary, give it up for my wife, will you? <laughs> she comes up with so much crap, I can't tell you. At any rate, uh, she, uh, Amy rebooks at 70%. Her referrals are running at 100 plus, so you know she's more than earned the right to come and take the ride with us tonight. She's got her social media act together, iPhone 6 Plus. She uh, probably does about 25 guests a week, and she's taken photographs on 10 of them. They're all high ticket, of course, because she's brilliant. Uh, yeah, she is amazing, LaBella. And uh, she sets, uh, uh, she does about four pictures per set, so if you do the arithmetic on that, that's like, 40 pictures a week. She's, she's posting about 10. She's got about 100 of her guests on her Instagram page, and she's got obsessive compulsive hashtag disorder. Now, I don't want the interview to be solely on social media tonight because she's got a story that's uh, second to none. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, get her on uh, FaceTime, and I wanted to bring her up on my TV. I can't get the darn thing to work, so I'm going to bring her up on my iPad. I'll, I'll hold the iPad there. I want her to tell you what she told me because it, it, it touched my heart. It touched my soul. How, what her life was like before, before she came to work at LaBella. How she got to LaBella is just a great, uh, good to see you, Gavin. It's a, just a great story. Her sales consultant, uh, just stay close. I, won't, I don't want to take the story away. And then she goes to work at LaBella, and the rest is history. So without any further ado, let me see if I can get her, uh, get her on the horn. There she is. Hi, Hi Amy. Hi. Give it up for Amy, will you? <laughs> your, your homies are watching us tonight. And did you, I, uh -huh. I don't know if you were watching, but I was bragging on you big time. I, 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 I really want to start the interview with your story because it's, it's remarkable. You know, you, you go from 20 grand to 75, you're trending 100. But I want our viewers tonight to really have an appreciation of where you came from before LaBella, and what happened to you at LaBella to get you to the place that you're at. So get us started. How'd that, how'd that happen for you? Well, I was at a standstill in my career, and I feel like my DSC saw that, and he knew what I was capable of, and I just wasn't in the right spot. So he called me and told me about LaBella and the Summit System a little bit, and I was very interested about it. So we went and visited LaBella, and once the summit system was kind of laid out for me, I knew that that was the place I needed to be because I, I work better when I have goals set in front of me and have something to work for, which I didn't do that whenever I was self-employed my whole, you know. Right. So really, when you were, the, the, the place you were at before LaBella, you were there, you were holding on, you were fragile, and it was your sales consultant who was the had LaBella as a client that came blue in your ear. So you, you get on board with LaBella. What, what, what was different about LaBella? Get, talk a little bit about, you were telling me about the coaching sessions and, and the summit and how that worked. I want them to hear it in your words, though. Okay, well, um, the one-on-ones with my coach, Joe Tang, have been a huge, huge impact on my success. Um, I could tell right away that he cared and he wanted me to succeed just as bad as I did. And knowing that I had this person in my corner that was like rooting for me, 
was like amazing. I never had that before. And he would take my goals and he would break them down for me to where I felt like they were achievable. Like I've never had anybody do that before me. So uh, that, I owe him for a lot of my success. Yeah, I want. I really want to make sure the audience heard what you just said because it's profound. That in in coaching one on one with Summit and particularly Joe Tang, he took. The big picture financial goal. I mean, you set an annual income goal, but then he, he taught you how you break it down from, you know, the year to the month to the week to the day to the average ticket to, you know, using planning. And I think it was that that just helped you to get and stay focused. Yes, exactly. So then, then you know, all of a sudden now you're you're making tracks on the on the one on ones, and you you all you, you've got some really interesting ways that you're using social media as your best practice, and I I want to make sure that the audience tonight has the benefit of uh, of hearing how you do that. You you do about twenty five guests a week, and you're taking ten you're taking about ten pictures uh, uh, on guests. And um, you're you're so and you're posting um, uh, you're taking you're, you're taking four pictures per guest so that's like forty a week you're posting ten times I think what the what the audience is curious about is what is like what is it like when you're taking pictures and you're asking your guest if it's cool to do that what what's the experience that they have having their picture taken Well, they love it because we have a really cool setup in our salon with our ring light so they like the idea that we're wanting to take a picture of their hair to put on social media. But I will also ask them if they will put this picture on their social media and tag me in it. And I will follow up on all the likes that they get and go and like those people's pages. And then anyone that comments, I will send them a direct message, you know, thanking them for their, you know, their sweet comment on our hair. And if they ever want to, do something different with their hair, or I don't know, I just don't like think of me in the future. Yeah, I mean, what's really cool about your approach is when you take the picture and your, and your guests, and most of them are asking for the picture, you're, you're texting them the picture, and there's many of your guests that want to upload it on their page. You ask them to tag you, and then uh, you, you then pay attention to the comments that your picture on their page gets from their friends and you mm -hmm. reach out to them and you're inviting them into the salon. Yes. And you were, you were, you actually sent me an example of one of your, uh, one of your personal messages and gang, it's really, really common. I mean, it's very casual. You thank them, you, you, you invite them in and, uh, that large in part that that's responsible for, uh, uh, your your hundred plus referrals and you going from uh, twenty to seventy five grand to a hundred. Yes, it is. Now uh, there's another part of this thing that I really want to ask you, and I hope it doesn't get personal because when you and I were chatting, I said, Amy, I can't imagine what it's like to be at twenty thousand dollars and in the next year go to seventy five thousand. I mean that's almost unbelievable. I know you're a uh, single parent. I know you, you know, a child and, and, um, what, what is your life like now and, and how is it different when you were hanging out at 20 grand a year? Well, I mean, it's kind of embarrassing for me to say, but like, I would worry if my lights got turned off some nights or like if I couldn't pay my car payment and now like having this financial freedom, you know, I'm back on my feet again and I, like I said, my, I'm financially stable, I'm stress-free, and I'm just all around, like, just happy. Yeah, and you were telling me that there's times where you, you and Joe Atang will kind of reminisce because the, your coach has been on this journey with you. Yes. And, and I said, does this ever get emotional, you know, for you when you talk about this, especially to your coach? And you said, oh, yeah, there's times when I'm with Joe, I start crying and then Joe will start crying. Well, we both teared up one time. One time. But yes, it does get a little emotional in there. Oh, That's yeah. That's just cutting tears. <laughs> well, and, and the tears, I think, are tears of gratitude. Because, you know, you, you, you can't appreciate uh, heaven until you've been to hell. Right. You can't, exactly. You can't appreciate abundance until you've been in scarcity. 
And so now, and it, and it looks like you're you're gonna you're going up another twenty twenty five grand this year. You're you you could uh, break the one hundred thousand dollar Rubicon. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> All right. Well, I, there's something else I want you to say to the audience tonight, and that is, there are a number of people that are in the place that you were at two years ago. They that what what happened to you hasn't happened to them yet. And so you're now in a very different place. Is there anything that you could say to them, pass on to them to give you, give them the hope and, and, and have them stay in the game so that uh, over time they might enjoy what you're enjoying? I would just start out, and I just recently talked to a girl that is coming to Labella, and I just told her how it's changed my life not having to worry about um, you know, buying product, paying booth rent, you get to go into work, you get to do what you love, you get a paycheck, you get money back at the end of the year. In the Summit system, if you are wanting to grow and be more successful, it's it's a proven system that's going to, like, help you do that. And I, I feel like I am proof, so I love, like, telling people that. Now, did I, was I hearing you correctly? You have a friend that works in another salon, that and that was the salon that you were in, that's probably in the same position you were in, right? And you actually went there, blew in her ear, and said, hey, you got to check this out. Yes, well, we talked in a class, and then uh, we started messaging back and forth about the, the Summit System and LaBella, and I told her more about it because she seemed very interested and told her my story, and she starts in a couple weeks. Oh, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> so she's going to start at LaBelle in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So this is huge. I mean, I didn't know this. So I want to stay close to you on this part. And I know that there are some other people at LaBelle that I'm going to be interviewing. So yes. you can kind of update the, uh, us as to, and, uh, as to uh, how she does getting on the track you are on. Oh, she's going to do great. You're going to want to interview her next. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, tell her that uh, uh, to have her watch the video tonight, and I'd be more than happy to chat with her. Oh. Well, listen, I'm going to let you go because I'm going to see if I can actually get in touch with your coach, Joe Tang. I chatted oh. with him. I'm hoping I can bring him on and maybe just uh, give him a couple of minutes to just say in his own words what his experience has been like coaching you and working with people at LaBella. Okay. Sounds right. good. One more time. Give it up. For Miss Amy Hale. You did good. Thanks for hanging out with us. Of course. Thank you. All right. Let me see if I can get a hold of Joe Attack. Joe! Hey! Give it up for <laughs> Mr. Joe Attack! Good. I'm, I'm holding you up to the Mevo camera so the world can see you. Were you watching, Amy? I was. Wasn't she amazing? Oh, my God. Now, now this is the first uh, summit coach I've had on. So this, and I have no, they don't know what I'm going to be asking you. You don't know, and we haven't rehearsed this at all. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to catch you. So, right. In a nutshell, what was your experience? Uh, first of all, how how long had you been coaching Amy? Somewhere around two years, I would say. And then you and her would get together for one on one. Was it monthly, bi monthly, quarterly? Almost every two months. Okay, and so you you saw her literally go from twenty thousand, absolutely to seventy five thousand. She's trending a hundred grand. In a nutshell, what was that experience? What was going on in those one on ones? First of all, where she was getting that inspiration, and number two, what was your experience as you watched this happen? So you know, I think Amy mentioned some key things in her interview, right? I think. Um, first of all, I just want to give a big shout out to Cody Fields because he's there every single time um, I'm there coaching the girls and working with the salon. But, you know, Amy, Amy said one thing that really uh, stood out to me, which is she's, a, she's the type of person that has, has to set goals and has to shoot for her goals. And every time we had our meetings, she came in with, with a series of questions, wanting to know, okay, you know what, I'm here. How do I get to, from point A to point B? What are the steps? Just let me know and I'm going to get there. And I think that that's really the difference maker and, and why she's so, so successful. Right. And she, you know, I mean, she said to me, in essence, I'm going to paraphrase her. Joe taught me, Joe did the math for me 
until I could do the math for myself. Because you got to do math to figure out the money. Absolutely. And then, Absolutely. And, and, you know, Joe, Joe did the planning for me and with me until I learned to plan for myself. And now she doesn't have, she's independent of you now, but she's working with you in new ways. Yes. And, and I think without her willingness to, to, to help me see her vision, I don't think we, we could have been able to reverse engineer it down to a daily goal so that can help her calculate what she needs to do every single day to get what she wants in life. So I think um, just by her sharing her vision with me, sharing with me where she wants to go, um, that helped us be able to break down whatever her goals were um, during every visit. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to say to the viewer tonight, that if, if there's any uh, either non-Summit salons that uh, are curious about Joe, Joe Atang, he's just an extraordinary human being. If, oh, you, thank you. if you have a summer salon and you're not being coached and you're curious about Joe and what if he can do with and for you what he's doing at La Bella, uh, if you personal message me, I'll, I'll just uh, pass on your, your, your name to Joe because you and I have been hanging out, Joe, and I think there's been, we have. There's been a couple of clients uh, since I had you on live uh, a week ago in Vegas that have reached out to you. So you, you continue to do an extraordinary job. I appreciate it, Michael. All right. Say goodbye to Joe Atang. Give it up for him one more time. Good night. Stay well, my friend. All right. You too. Take care. Bye. Wasn't that cool? We've never had a coach on before. And and to, to really, and many of you haven't had the opportunity to be have one-on-one -on -one coaching. I, I, a lot of you come to our seminars. I give you as much content as I can. And whatever result people are getting on the information, which is huge, is uh, it pales in comparison when you're working with a coach. So if you're a non-Summit Salon, I'm hoping that you're watching this and going, okay, what is this coaching about and how can I get more involved with it? If you are a Summit Salon and it's been a while, like three months, four months, five months since you've had coaching, I'm going to suggest that things have changed so much about coaching I would encourage you to revisit that and rethink getting on ramped again. Uh, and of course, if you're if you're on summit and you're getting coaching now, hey, hell, I'm I'm uh, I, I'm I'm preaching to the choir. So uh, get, if you're interested in in uh, working with Joe Tang, as I said, message me, and I I would be more than happy to pass your name on to him. In closing, I want to thank, uh, of course, uh, Summit on Business Center. Th their support continues to make this work together as it's evolving. And of course, our sponsors, L'Oreal Professional Product Division. Without their support. We couldn't do that. Uh, salon centric, uh, uh, state, RDA, uh, the Summit Salon community. I am profoundly grateful for what you continue to do for us. So thank you very much on that.